I recently reviewed the Astrory Pro Lens, a two times macro lens that opens a lot of possibilities. But I wanted to give the footage an even more cinematic look. I updated the Astrory Pro Lens with a 1.33x anamorphic adapter. The first step was to find a smartphone anamorphic lens, remove the back plate and take measurements. I designed a simple case that will fit on the tip of the probe lens. And I 3D printed it. I also printed a screw so it doesn't leave marks on the body of the probe lens. And now I can keep the anamorphic adapter in the good orientation. I was very impressed to see there is no vignetting on the final footage. Getting this kind of ultra-close focus in anamorphic is really interesting and almost impossible for more expensive adapters. The adapter gives you the famous anamorphic flares. The more you open the aperture of the lens, the larger your flares will be. But the more you open the aperture, the less sharp your image will be. Because the probe lens needs to be closed down to be sharp, you need to close almost to f28 to get a clean footage. And with a very slow aperture, you need a lot of light. To light my shot, I use a new Colobor CL60 video light, an ultra compact and lightweight video light. And the best part is that it's also a RGB light. And you can create special effects like the one I used at the end of the short film. I will try to create another adapter with a 1.5x squeeze factor. Creating weird lenses with 3D printed parts is really fun. Highly encourage you to try it yourself. <laughs>